Hey girls, so today I'm filming my makeup collection video and you guys requested this so much from me so I'm finally putting it up. Um, just to let you know really quick, this intro is going to be short, but I really don't have that much makeup compared to a lot of the beauty gurus here on YouTube. Um, I mean I have a lot compared to the average teenage girl, but um, that's just my personal preference because I feel it as if if you have a certain color, why do you need like the same color in a different brand? Like I don't know, I just have one of everything that I just want, not like a bunch of different things that I don't really need. I don't know. That's just my little theory on it, but that's why my makeup collection is a little bit on the small side, but also this video is to show you some good organization and storage tips because a lot of people message me on YouTube, you know, how do you store your makeup, um, what are some good um, containers to use that are affordable. Um, so if you're interested in seeing how I store my makeup and some good tips and tricks, then this video is definitely for you. So just stay tuned um, if you are interested in my makeup collection and storage video. And also leave a video response of your makeup collection down below. Post it as a video response to this video. I'd love to watch it and see your tips and tricks. And you can also comment in the... Um, uh, comment section, um, how you store your makeup and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I love you guys. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Okay, so here's just a kind of um, far view of my makeup corner. So down here I just have um, a chair and stuff and then my vanity and then up here I have my little chandelier from Ikea that was $39.99. So yeah, I love that little chandelier. And then over there I just have my curtains and my little blinds and stuff. Um, oh, and then the curtains are by or from Target. So, and then that one is too, the little white one. So my vanity is from Target. I got it a couple years ago though, so I don't think they have the same style or um, type of vanity, but they probably have some similar on Target.com. So if you are looking for one kind of like mine, then that's where you can get one. And then my chair, my little makeup sitting chair, stool, whatever it's called, is um, actually, I don't know where it's from, but my mom covered it a long time ago, like in this different pattern, and it just happens to go with my room, so I'm using that as my chair to sit on. Um, and then this little, my little actual like makeup collection, the little thing right here actually was the chair that came with the vanity, but it's not comfortable at all when you sit on it, so... Um, I'm using that to like prop to hold up my containers and then the actual white containers with the drawers are from Target and you can get them. They have them all year round and then sometimes they have like different colors like pink and stuff for Valentine's Day. So that's where that's from and then my nail polish holder thing is my sister's. I have no idea where it's from um, but you could probably get something like it at Target or um, Home Goods or any like home furnishing decorating store I guess. Um, okay, so we're just going to jump right into this. So first I'll go over what's on my vanity and I'm going to prop up my tripod. Oh, and I'm in my pajamas if you can see me because I didn't feel like getting dressed today because today's Monday and we have no school because it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Okay, so I'm going to just zoom in I guess and then show you guys um, what's on my vanity. Okay, so right here I have my um, brush holder. I made this a long time ago. Um, it's just this glass jar from Target. I got it for like four bucks. And then on the back, I have a purple M which matched my old room, but I turned it around and I put these little um, rhinestones on it and to match my new room because it's not like purple. So yeah. And then my brushes are in here. I just have um, some big fluffy powder brushes and then so back here I just have some fluffy powder brushes and then uh, my uh, blusher brush and my foundation brush and then eye brushes crease brush everything like that eyeliner brush I just have like a couple brushes that are just like my essential brushes I don't really have a lot but this is how I um, do my makeup I have the perfect amount of brushes I think so that is that and then back here I have my MAC um, brush cleanser and I put a little spray cap on it because it's a lot easier to um, put it on to clean your brushes and also it doesn't waste as much product so I have that and then I have my Neutrogena oil free makeup remover to get any like mascara off a mess up or something and then right here I have my mirror and this mirror is I believe from home goods and it's just a double sided mirror this is the zoom in side and then there's just the regular, oh no, this is the zoom inside. This is the regular side, sorry. 
Okay, so that's my mirror. Okay, and then over here, this is just like the mirror that the um, vanity comes with. And it looks like that. Okay, so now moving on to this little thing over here. Okay, so this container is from um, the container store and it was about, it was like $20, which is kind of expensive, but I really like this. And this is basically just an array of um, products that I use every day or most use products. And then right here, these are just all my lipsticks. It's not stuff I use every day because these are just like all my lipsticks that I actually own and I keep them in this lipstick um, container. So right here I have a CoverGirl lipstick in Spellbound. It's just like this hot pinkish plum color. Right here I just have a chapstick and that's the Simple Pleasures and Candy Apple. Um, and then my Vaseline Lip Therapy is right there. And I use these two um, chapsticks every day. And then behind this, I have a NYX cream lipstick. Oh, it just came out of the thing. Oh my gosh. Um, this one is in nude. It's just this really pretty nude color. So that's there. And then, and then right here, I have my only MAC lipstick. This is in Dream. I believe this is limited edition. Um, so I don't think you can get this anymore. But it's just this really pretty um, pinkish shimmery color that I love. So that's my little MAC lipstick right here in the middle. And then a Revlon lipstick in Nude Attitude. So back here I have my three Maybelline Color Sensation lipsticks from lightest to darkest. This one right here is Born With It. This is in, this was a limited edition um, in Fruit Punch. And this is in Are You Ready? It's this beautiful like Taylor Swift red color that I love to wear during the holidays. So right here I have my everyday foundation, this is just the Boots, um, what is this, the, oh, I can't even read it. This is the Virtually Weightless Color Adjusting Foundation. This is the Botonics, so it's like really good for your skin. It doesn't break me out or anything, so I love that. It has a pump and everything. And then my setting powder, this is the Maybelline Mineral Powder um, Mineral Veil. And then, okay, and then back here I have my everyday eye products. This is just my L'Oreal um, Million Lashes Mascara in black. My Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is in here in case I wear eyeshadow that day. Um, so it's easy to reach and everything. And then I have my MAC Penultimate Liquid Liner that I use almost every day and um, my Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner in black. And then behind my foundation, okay, and then right here next to my everyday eye products, I have my most used concealers and um, eyebrow products. I have my Milani HD um, Advanced Concealer Clicker Pen and my Everyday Under Eye Concealer, the Physician's Formula Circle RX. And then I have my CoverGirl Brown um, Eyebrow Pencil and then um, my Boots Eyebrow Pencil. And then I have a little spoolie to comb out my brows with. And then I have my fluffy um, brush to set my concealer under my eyes and I use the mineral veil to do that so that is everything in there that's just like my everyday products and stuff um, the only thing that I don't have in this container that's like an everyday product is my blush so we'll go over that in my um, actual container okay and then over here I have my MAC 182 Kabuki um, that I set my face makeup with with my mineral veil so that just sits right there it's so cute and then back here I have my Kroger hand sanitizer that I use every time I apply makeup and then my Urban Decay All Nighter makeup setting spray is back here and then under here I have my NARS Laguna bronzer but there's actually no bronzer in it because it cracked a long time ago and ah, I can't get it open so I just use it as a mirror whenever I'm doing my makeup like in a video or something so I just keep that there and I just like the packaging. Okay, and then this container right here, a lot of you guys asked me where I got this. This is from Home Goods. I got it for like $4, which is pretty good. It has three containers, like sections in it. And I'm just going to get this so I can show you guys. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I think it's so cute. It's just black with like a pretty pattern on it. And okay, so in the first little slot, I have my Olay Regenerist Daily... Um, regenerating serum. It's kind of like a primer, smoother, and it kind of evens out your skin um, tone a little bit. And then I have my tweezers right here. 
And then I also have my eyelash curlers. This is the Tweezerman eyelash curler. Um, and then right here I have a few eye products. This is the Olay um, Anti-Aging Eye Roller Ball. And my, um, the infamous Garnier uh, Skin Renew Anti- Anti- Gosh, I can't talk today. I'm really sorry. Anti-Puff Eye Roller Ball. Here I also have Benefits Ula Lift Eye Cream. And then I have my primer. This is the, ah, I cannot get any of this stuff out. Sorry, let me get this out. This is the Primetime Foundation Primer by Bare Essentials. So that's in there. And then behind all this little stuff, oh my gosh, I need to like rearrange this because this is just not working out. This is not working out. Oh my gosh. Behind this stuff I have my everyday um, facial moisturizer and this is the Rare Minerals Purely Nourishing um, Facial Moisturizer. And then I also have my Jergens Healthy Glow or Natural Glow Healthy Complexion stuff. Um, and then I also have my The Pore Professional Minimizer by Benefit which I use every day um, if I'm wearing my foundation and this just minimi minimizes any, minimizes, I sound British, <laughs> minimizes any pores. So I have all that stuff, that's like what I do before my foundation, like what I put on my face and stuff um, most of the time. So that sits just right there next to my foundation. So it's easy to reach and I just love this little container. Okay, and then next to this container I have this, and this I think was from Restoration Hardware. It was my mom's, but she gave it to me. It just says number one. It has this little lid, and I put some little jewels bedazzlement because I love glitter and stuff. And here I just have some Q-tips to um, remove any mascara that I kind of like got on my eyelid or anything. And then, oh, I keep like not, okay. And then some cotton balls and just Q-tips and cotton balls because I always need those and that just sits right there so that's in there. Now we are going to go inside this little drawer right here so I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. So right here I just have my Vaseline. Um, I just put this on my eyelashes and eyebrows overnight and then it like helps them grow faster and more full and then I have my Smooth Away um, and then I have two towels to wipe and clean my makeup brushes on. And then over here, I just have boxes and eyelashes. Um, I have my MAC ones down there, uh, Ardell back here, Urban Decay, lots of Ardell. And then I have um, lash remover adhesive and adhesive lash grip glue. And then I just have some boxes from products because I want to like remember the name or the color so that's just in there just kind of like boxes eyelashes and stuff like that miscellaneous stuff okay so now moving on to my actual makeup collection so here's like kind of just where I do my everyday makeup and I don't really go into these boxes a lot only for my blushes so this is just my overview of my vanity okay so going to this I'm gonna start up here um, actually right here, this I made, if you've seen my room tour, I made this uh, freshman year of high school, so last year, because I'm a sophomore, um, and it just has my favorite makeup brand, Steel Urban Decay Makeup um, Forever, MAC, Benefit, YSL, oh, Louis Vuitton, uh, NARS, Benefit, and Bobbi Brown, so even though I it's really funny because I don't actually have any Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown products, or Makeup Forever, I just really like those brands and those are some brands that I want to try out in the future. So I have that little uh, little painting up there because I thought it was cute and it goes with my vanity because it's makeup. So I thought that was appropriate and adorable so I have that there. And then this right here is from TJ Maxx and you guys are probably like, what? I thought they sold clothes. Well they actually sell like home stuff sometimes and this is an envelope holder but I use it for my palette. So yeah, it's just this white... Um, really heavy, like super heavy duty palette holder and I just love it. So that's that. It was about $8. You can f probably find way cheaper ones, but I really like this one. So, um, yeah, that's from TG Maxx. Right here I just have my nail files. I have so many. It's like I collect these or something, but I don't. I just like have a bunch of them. This one is pink and, ah, pink and glittery. Um, and then I have a polka dot one, a striped one, a smiley face one, and another polka dot one. So I just really like nail files and I think they're really cute, like the pattern ones. So yeah, I have those and I can't get them back together. Okay, whatever. Okay, and then the first palette I have is my Stila palette, which is currently empty because I haven't bought any single eyeshadows. 
So yeah, that is empty. Um, so behind my Stila palette, I have my e.l.f. Um, palette. And this was like the school edition one with like some purples and neutrals and taupes and stuff. I love this palette. And then behind that, I have my Sedona Lace 88 Warm Palette, which I'll show you. Oh, you can see my camera. I'll show you the colors really quickly, even though I think you guys have most, you guys have seen this before in my videos. Um, just comes with beautiful, beautiful colors. So yeah, that's that. Oh, and do you guys like my nail color? It's Revlon's Minted. It is like the prettiest color ever. So that's actually back there. So yeah, I painted my nails the other day. Woo! You can definitely find cheaper um, file holders at maybe Office Max or Staples. Any office supply store has really good prices on stuff like this. So definitely check that out if you're looking for um, storage for your makeup palettes. Um, yeah, so that's that. Okay, now moving on to my nail polishes. This... As I said, I don't know where this is from, but actually I think it was a CD container and I decided to put my nail polishes in it. So right here I have all of my pinks, um, OPI, I don't know, I'll do a nail polish like collection video, but these are just my pinks and my Revlon nail polishes back here that I love to death. Um, over here I have my blues and there's Revlon's Minted that I have on my nails right now. Um, and then down here I just have some random miscellaneous NYC and like other brands. So that's that. And then here I have all my reds and kind of like corally colors. Okay, so that's that. And now moving on to my makeup collection. Okay, so my first drawer I have is face products. And it's like foundations, concealers, and stuff. So I'm going to go start here. This is my Revlon Photo Ready Foundation, MAC Pro Longwear Foundation, L'Oreal Bare Natural Mineral Foundation, um, Maybelline Dream Mousse, Liquid Mousse, uh, two of my Boing Concealers by Benefit and number one. Here, I'll show you what they look like. They look like oh, that one's like completely gone. Um, here, this one is a little bit more full. Uh, then I have this concealer by Maybelline. It's a Dream Mousse Concealer. I have the Bare Minerals Well Rested for your eyes. And then I have a um, backup of the Aqua CoverGirl Smoothers Tinted Moisturizer. And then over here in these two containers, I got these from Target for pretty good price. So if you're looking for stuff like this, you can definitely get it at Target or maybe like Office Max or um, any office supply store has stuff like this. Okay, so right here I just have my Aqua CoverGirl Smoothers Tinted Moisturizer, um, my All May Smart Shade Liquid Makeup, and a Stay Matte Rimmel Foundation. And then over here I have all of my concealers. Most of them are for under your eyes, but this one I just bought. It's the Physicians Formula uh, Conceal RX Physicians Strength Concealer. And this is actually really good. It's like super heavy duty. Like it's conceals literally everything. Uh, this is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer that goes with the foundation. Those are like totally different shades. That's really weird. Oh well. And then here I just have some more um, concealers. I have Maybelline. Uh, this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Under the Eye Concealer. I just need to get it in a lighter color, but I don't think it comes in a lighter color, which I don't really get. But, yeah, I like that. So I need that in a lighter color. I don't know. Maybe they don't make one in a lighter color. So I just have a bunch of random under eye concealers in here that I don't use on an everyday basis. Because my favorite one is in there. Right. Right. Here. And then back here, I have three powder foundations. Maybelline Dream Mousse, L'Oreal, and another Maybelline one, I think. Actually, this one might be L'Oreal. Yeah, two L'Oreal and a Maybelline one back there and I don't really use a lot of powder foundation so that's why I have mostly liquid foundation and that's my face drawer. Ah, this is my favorite drawer by far. This is all my blush and bronzers and highlighters and stuff so whenever I need a blush or bronzer I just go to this drawer and I don't really keep any of my favorites in there because I don't really have like a certain um, blush that I like to wear every day yet, so I haven't really found like my everyday blush So I just keep all of my blushes in here. So right here. I actually have some highlighters This is in elf facial whip my high beam by benefit that I love to death um, And then I have my mini benetint no posy tint and then my dream mousse blush in peach satin and then right here I have my um, 
Sugar Bomb Blush by Benefit, which is one of my favorites. Um, and then my three Dream Bouncy Blushes in Hot Tamale, uh, what is this, Candy Coral, and um, Orchid, Orchid Hush. So those are right there. I love those. Okay, and then right here I have my MAC blushes. This one is in Hush. It's a cream color base. Gosh, I can't get it out. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't get this out. This is Hush. It's a cream color base. Then I have Pink Swoon, which is a really nice pink color. And then I have Jeu de Voir, which is a cream base from the MAC and Lilyland collection. Or a cream blush, sorry. And then right here I have my NYX Mosaic um, blush, which I love. This is in Dare. And then my Milani blush in Sweet Rose, which is a red color. And then my Bare Minerals in Warmth, which I would keep it over in my everyday um, thing because I do use it most of the time. But um, it kind of holds all of these things together because if it isn't here, it's like everything's really loose. So I just keep that in here. So that's in Warmth, my bronzer. And then my Physician's Formula Bronze Booster, a L'Oreal bronzer, another L'Oreal bronzer. And then my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in By Candlelight. So I love that. And that's like a highlight that I use for my cheekbones. And then a Revlon Color Stay bronzer that I absolutely hate. But I don't want to give it away or like throw it away because maybe like I'll find a use for it someday. I just don't know. I always keep it. But that's back there. So that is my blush and bronzer drawer. Okay, the next drawer is also one of my favorites actually. This is eye stuff. So right here I have mascaras. I have a ton of mascaras. Um, I just, I don't know, a lot of these I should probably throw out, but I don't know why I keep them. I'm so weird. Okay, so I have um, a little mini size Bad Gal Lash, um, Lash Stiletto, which I need to throw out because it's all dried up. But I want to keep it to remind myself that I need a new one when I run out of my Million Lashes Mascara. Um, and then my XXL Pro extensions, extensions, which I really love. I just forgot about it, so maybe I'll go pick one of these up. But this one's all dried out. Um, and then a bunch, like, I don't even know, like, a, the One by One by Maybelline, uh, Sexy Curves, um, MAC, Lash Blast, uh, just a bunch of random mascaras. So I've tried out a lot of mascaras. And then over here I have eyeliners. I have my two Jessie's Girl Liquid, um, Sparkles. And then over here I have eyeliners in this container. Oh, this black container was from, um... Office, mm, Office Max, I th yeah, Office Max, and it was a pretty good price. I got two of them. Um, this one is my blush one, and then this in this one I use for eye stuff. So these are really good because it has lots of little slots for stuff, and I just love this. So that is from an Office Supply store, pretty good price too. And then this one is one of the white containers from Target. So right here I have my eyeliners. I have two of my Jessie's Girl sparklers in green and gold. And then I have a bunch of random eyeliners that I don't use on an everyday basis, but um, I use occasionally when I want to wear like brown eyeliner or um, like the emerald one from Rimmel or anything like that. And then back here I have my Milani uh, liquid liner in bronze. It's so pretty for like the summer and stuff. I love, love this. And then back here I just have an... Um, eyeliner sharpener to sharpen eyeliners so yeah and then over here I have the old version of the Urban Decay Primer Potion which I don't like I like the new one way better because this one I have lots of product in there but it dried out and it's like I just don't like this packaging I like the new one better and then this is the Great Lash um, clear brow gel which I love well it's actually clear mascara but I use it for my brows sometimes so keep that there then I have my MAC paint pots in painterly and bare study and benefits RSVP and a NYX pigment in mocha which is so pretty and then steal a smudge pot in black which I use for my upper lash line sometimes and then back here I have a um backup of my covergirl brown eyebrow pencil and then a random Revlon one and then um, this like little like, Halloween fantasy marker thing. It's like black and I used it to draw on my kitty whiskers and my nose when I was a cat last year for Halloween. And then some uh, more eyebrow stuff back there. So that's this drawer. It's basically just like primers, paint pots, um, random pigments, mascaras, and eyeliners. So that's that drawer. The next drawer is um, single eyeshadows and then little like 
duos and quads and stuff. Oh, and I actually lied. This drawer also has bases and, um, like, bases for eyeshadows. This has my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils. I guess I'll read the names for you guys. Um, I have... Here I have Strawberry Milk, Mocha, Baby Blue, Yogurt, Milk, and Pacific. And then right here I have this palette, which I use for, like, Halloween tutorials. This I got at Urban Outfitters one year. And it comes with, like, really cool color bases that I wouldn't buy for, like, every day. So it has, like, yellow, green, silver, red, white, blue, gold, black, and, like, a coral pink color. So I just love this, and it's perfect for Halloween and just any kind of, like, random occasion. And this is also really good for tutorials. So I have that, and I just keep that with my NYX pencils, jumbo eyeshadow pencils. Okay, so right here I have single eyeshadows. This is Palladio, Palados, um, eyeshadow in snow, and I use that for my inner corner. Here I have an LA Colors Trio, which I absolutely hate, so I keep that under this because I don't like looking at it. Stila's Kitten Eyeshadow, which is my favorite eyeshadow in the world. So, so freaking pretty. Here I have my three MAC single eyeshadows in Brulee, All That Glitters, and Woodwinked, which I love. Uh, this is my MAC palette that I got for their holiday edition. This was the one in Devil May Dare. It has really pretty colors. So I actually use this a lot, and that's one of my most used eyeshadows. So that's in there. Um, and then back here I have uh, this really pretty frosty, like, purple Duo and Lasting Lilac by Maybelline. And then I have a Lancome um, eyeshadow palette, an e.l.f. smoky palette, a Maybelline one in Sunlit Bronze, and a NYX um, trio with blue eyeshadows. And then over here I have CoverGirl L'Oreal uh, Two Love and Beauty by Forever 21. It's green and silver. And then L'Oreal Hip Duo in um, Platinum. These are really good. And then my Milani one in like shimmering sands or something beach sand and it's really pretty it's like shimmery and gold I just love that one so that's in there the next drawer is lip stuff lip glosses actually um so right here I have all my Stila lip glazes I have like 10 of them or 12 I don't really remember but um I think I named them in my top 11 products of 2011 video so you can go check that out and I'll link that in the bottom bar if you want to see, like, the names and stuff of my Stila lip glazes. And then I have my, uh, what is this, Maybelline Superstay 24 Color Lip Stick slash Cream Gloss. And then two um, lip stains by Revlon in Flame and Crave. Uh, back here I have my Urban Decay Lip Junkie Lip Gloss in Love Junkie, I think. Yeah, Love Junkie. And I love this stuff. It's like a cooling lip gloss. It's like plumping too. And this is seriously one of my favorite lip glosses ever. I love that. Um, and then a Wet Slicks Amazement in Red Riot. Which you guys know I love and talk about all the time. Revlon lip gloss in um, Coral Reef. And then my lip fusions. They're like lip plumpers. MAC lip pencil lip liner. And then under these I have... Uh, I don't really use these. But I have my MAC... Dazzle Glasses in Smile, Baby Sparks, Piff, and Jingle Jangle. And then this is uh, Viva Glam 6 or 5. I'm not really sure. So that's in there. I just keep this stuff on top of there. So, yeah. And then over here I have tubes. I have, like, Bath & Body Works. Um, for, or, uh, what is this? Victoria's Secret, Beauty Rush, uh, Juice Calure by Revlon. I mean, L'Oreal, sorry. Uh, Liplicious from Bath & Body Works, NYX, L'Oreal Infallible, Forever 21 Lip Gloss. And back here I have my Wet n Wild Mega Plump Lip Glosses. And then, yeah. Oh, and then a lip sharpener pencil for my lip liners. So that is this drawer, just a bunch of lip glosses. The last drawer is one of my favorites, and this is my um, chapstick drawer. And it just has my EOS Lip Balm. Um, Born Lippy, Bubblegum Lip Scrub, Nivea Kiss of Moisture, L'Oreal Hip Duo and Ripe, uh, no, sorry, not Hip Duo, Durr, L'Oreal Hip Jelly Balm and Ripe, which is now discontinued, which I'm like really sad about, um, Co Bigelow Cocoa Butter Lip Butter, which I am in love with, um, Twizzlers stuff, random like Bath and Body Works, um, these are my, what are these, Lip 
lip, what is this? Lip, soft lips. Oh my gosh, soft lips. Bliss, a bunch of Bliss Hex chapstick. Um, Burt's Bees, and then my loves, my little simple pleasures, which are the best chapsticks in the world. So I have this drawer, which is like my, I love this drawer so much. And then I have some makeup sponges back there. And then like this random palette for Halloween that I got when I was really little. So that is that drawer. I think I'm done. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, so down here I have a Sephora. Um, this is really cool. I got this as a birthday present last year. And it comes with all of these colors. Look at all these colors, you guys. Blue, pink, taupe, green, yellows, re corals, reds, browns, pinks. Craziness. I love this. And then it has, you guys are going to be like, whoa. Just whoa. Okay, and then it has all these lip colors. These are like warms and cools. Whoa, I want this. Look at this purple lips. I'm going to have some purple lips. That's awesome. And then it has some cheek colors. And then right here it has um, gel eyeliners, pencil eyeliners, blushes. And yeah, so I think this is really cool and I absolutely love this. It's perfect for tutorials and I can just grab like any color that I want. So that's really awesome. And then down here I also just have like random miscellaneous um, makeup bags that I use for school sometimes. Oh, and this is the one I'm currently using. This is from Forever 21. I got this for Christmas. I don't think I mentioned it in my Christmas haul though. I must have forgotten. But it was like $5 and it's so cute. It has like this gold detailing. And I think it's so pretty and like springy and just adorable. So I'm using this for school currently and I love it. And yeah, that is my completed makeup collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you found some good tips and tricks for your collection and how to store things and everything like that. So let me know in the comments if you liked this video and thought it was helpful because I hope it was. And yeah, so leave a video response of your makeup collection down below. And oh, you can see me in the mirror. Hi, everyone. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys. See you to half heart because my other hand is holding the camera. Half heart, I love you guys. Bye.